Hello, my name is Mikko Poranen and on this video I will show and tell you what I did for the course EE4455 Embedded Systems uh, as a project. And uh, in this project I had to use the programming language uh, LabVIEW, uh, Visual Programming Language LabVIEW and uh, program this Myrio gadget with the LabVIEW program. And uh, I, choose to, I chose to do this continuous assignment uh, number one, Myrio Air Music. And the basic idea is to make movement with this device. And inside uh, this Myrio device there is an uh, accelerometer. And uh, with the lab view, I need to read the accelerometer values and generate some kind of sound. So, yes, so now in this video, next I will show you what kind of lab view program I have and what kind of sounds it will generate. Okay, so first thing I need to do is uh, actually read the accelerometer values, and uh, this will happen. Uh, here uh, through the block diagram uh, in my target VI. Here you can see actually the accelerometer and there are x-axis, y-axis and uh, z-axis. And uh, I will just run the program so you will see uh, the values that are shown then in the waveform chart. Okay, so here is the waveform chart. And as you can see, there are now some values when I uh, when I wave around this uh, Myrio gadget. And um, now its uh, set is approximately one, and uh, x and y are zero. And then when I turn this uh, gadget uh, like this, now uh, y is 1, and then upside down, now, now y is minus 1, now x is minus 1, now x is uh, 1, and uh, y and z are approximately 0, and still this, and now z is minus 1. So why I'm showing you this is that we can actually see that there are six uh, different kind of clear cases, uh, three different dimensions, x, y, and z, and uh, all of them has two cases, one and minus one. So we are going to use this when generating sounds. Okay, so next thing what we have to do is um, actually move these accelerometer, accelerometer values to our host VI and to actually to our computer uh, and then play sounds through the PC sound card and this will happen through a shared variable and this shared variable uh, uh, we are using uh, we can create a shared variable through here uh, project explorer uh, here we can press right click and new and variable okay here but I already created uh, here three different uh, variables shared variables acceleration x uh, y and z okay and uh, you can see these shared variables here uh, acceleration x y and z and um, here I have uh, taken a wire out from the actual meter x axis uh, to here, shared variable x, and same thing with y and z. Okay, so now let's go to our host VI, where we are going to actually uh, generate the sound. Mm. Here is our host VI block diagram. Okay, here we can see our shared variables x, y, and z. And then there are three different case structures. Uh, and as I mentioned before, there are six different cases. So, uh, for example, here x has two different cases, one and minus one. And then here y, one and minus one, and then same thing with z, one and minus one. So there are six different cases. 
and uh, in every case there is a, a signal generator and then this signal is going to be played through uh, this uh, play waveform uh, block. Uh, so we have six different uh, different kind of uh, signals here and uh, for example now here is x is minus one so um, when the case is this, that uh, my Rio is moved in a way uh, that okay, wait, let me show you uh, that, uh, that x gets the value minus one like this. Okay, you see it's minus one. So then, um, actually, then this case will happen and it will play this uh, signal and. Uh, as we can see from here, uh, it says, seems that I have set the um, set the frequency to six hundred fifty nine. And how I choose these uh, frequencies is that I wanted to play some music, and uh, I have uh, six different tones, six different frequencies. Uh, here I will show you. What tones do I have? So uh, I have G, E, F, D, C, and A uh, notes, and with these six notes, I can uh, play a song. Uh, but first, okay, there is still a while loop here, so this uh, program will repeat itself in every one thousand milliseconds, uh, so in ev every every one second. And this uh, program will repeat uh, repeat itself uh, all the way to the world end. So that's the reason I added here a stop button. So when I'm ready with my pro with my playing, I press here and stop. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do is uh, I will play Twinkle Twinkle Star, and. Um, and next I will show you it and let's see if you can actually recognize the song. Okay. Before I'm going to play your Twinkle Twinkle Star, the last thing is that we have to actually connect the MyRio to Wi-Fi because we do not want to play Twinkle Twinkle Star with this many wires connected to my MyRio device. So. I can do that through the, through my browser um, through this network configuration window, and here I can uh, connect my um, my Rio to my home Wi-Fi router. So now the actual meter data will go to my computer through the Wi-Fi and not through the USB cable. Okay, so I can go here to my lab view, to my project explorer and uh, right click to my myrio icon and here uh, I actually already changed my IP address to this uh, Wi-Fi IP address and I got it here from the network configuration window here and if I want to use again um, a USB instead of Wi-Fi, I can just uh, copy this um, IP address here and uh, add it here to my Project Explorer through Project Explorer windows. Okay, uh, but now we are ready to play. So as you can see, um, now when I hit the run, here I can uh, remove my USB and uh, I only have my power wire to my Myrio and it still reads the values.
Okay, so this was my my real project and thank you for watching.